How can you explain mark to market to the average American? I think I can explain it best with an analogy. So let's let's all be a home buyer. Most of us at some point in our life will own a house. We get a mortgage. Let's say the house is $400,000. We put 25% down, $100,000. We have a $300,000 mortgage. We make our payments. A couple of years later, for whatever reason, the value of the house goes down like it has today. And the house is now worth $250,000. I'm still making my payments, but I get a letter from the lender that says, because the market value of your collateral, of your house, is now $250,000, we need you to send us immediately another $100,000, not just to get you to two fifty, dollars but to get you below two fifty, dollars because you have a loan to value. Otherwise, we're going to foreclose on your house. And you say, wait a minute now, I'm current on my loan. Why would you foreclose on my house? The answer would be because the market value of your house is below the loan, and that's the rules. Now, if those were the rules, how many Americans would buy a house today under that rule book? Very few. Geez, I wonder why banks are afraid to lend money. I wonder why they're afraid to purchase loans and securities because of that potential mark to market.